Hello everyone and for today I have this cool legacy minimalistic blue skin for your computer uh, and I will show you what you need to do to have it first and um, first go to this link rainmeter.net and here down below here's the link for 4.1 beta release download it and after you download it install it and run it okay after that you have these two wallpapers also you can find the links in the description below so you can set one of these wallpapers to your desktop background okay after that you have the legacy minimalistic blue skin for rain matter also the link is in the description below so what you need to do when you download it it's very simple just double click and click install and all of your skins will show up on your desktop right here down below is date and time on left side I have Wikipedia, Facebook, Rainmeter, Goal and some other sites you can check it out here we have a uh, gmail and we have weather so now uh, how to change the weather to your city right click and click edit skin and here is the location my location is this code and now to find your code of your city go to go to wither code and here just type the location of your city click search and here is the code copy this go back to the edit skin and paste it click a click X and click on save then you go to right click and refresh the skin and skin will be refresh and your current weather in your city will show up here here is the RSS feeds but it seems some of them it's not working however uh, up here you have shortcuts for application and programs like Photoshop, FL Studio, Chrome, Winamp and now you have some folders here documents, videos these, these shortcuts are working but these might not work because the path to the exe file it's not the same so again right click and click edit skin and here for let's say Photoshop CS5 you have the path so you need to enter the path same as on your computer I will show you quickly how to do that so let, let's say that my path of the Photoshop is on program files Adobe Adobe Photoshop CS6 and click here copy this location go to notepad and I will paste it right here I will leave the same photoshop.exe okay and I will just click X I will click save and if I want to open the Photoshop yeah I need to refresh the skin again and then if I go double click the Photoshop will open it and that's how you can do on other applications just change the path refresh the skin and double click to run it okay uh, that's that's it for today the skin is not so much big 
it has only few skins uh, I but I still like it and I really hope that you're gonna like it thank you for watching this see you next time bye